Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on really quickly and make a video about the latest January patch that has literally just landed. It's very exciting. A lot of changes have been made. One of the big ones is about tuning orbs. They're a lot more accessible now. You can buy Amrine, Starstone, Depths, Dynasty once a day and Genesis and Laz once a week. They're just in the faction shop. You will need your tokens. Um, the gold, they're actually really well priced. 85 gold for Amrain. 170 gold for Starstone. 255 gold for Depths. Dynasty is only 340 gold. And Genesis and Laz 425 gold and the mutated orbs are 500 gold. You do need to grind up your tokens, but the gold itself is it's really affordable, really accessible, really exciting. The next huge change um, in cost are the chisels. So as you can see here, it is now 250. It was 500 for the Asmodium chisel. The Orichalcum chisel is 200 down from 400. And the Star Metal chisel, is 150 down from 200. So overall, um, a lot better price, a lot more affordable, a lot more accessible to a lot more players. Crafting orbs have had an update too. So there is significant reductions to crafting costs for the expedition keys. The eternal and elemental hearts now are only 10 of each mode. So when crafting them, you only need 30 instead of what it used to be, which was 150. So it's a lot more affordable, a lot easier to get the resources. Um, Undying Heart has also had a reduction when crafting that. It only costs two of qu each quintessence instead of six. Um, the Dynasty Orb now has a reduction amount of Corrupted Crystal. It only costs one instead of two. Uh, the Dynasty Orb also has a reduction in Obsidian Void Stone required to craft. It's eight instead of ten. The Lazarus Orb has been redu reduced as well. So the Lazarus Orb now only costs one Corrupted Lodestone instead of three. And the Genesis one only costs one Corrupted Lodestone instead of two. So overall, these are a lot more affordable, a lot easier to craft. And to even make it even more accessible and a lot more easy to craft, you can actually now trade Blight Seeds, Corrupted Lodestones, Crystals, Fragments, Shards, and Slithers, as well as the Chisels. So you can now buy and share these items between your friends, between your companies and get a lot more accessibility to ex expeditions. So the expeditions are going to be so easy for everyone to access now. Really, really excited to get in on the expeditions. It's also Important to note that the first runs of the dungeons give you a guaranteed mutated orb drop. So when you are running Dynasty, Lazarus, and Genesis, you will get a guaranteed drop for a mutated orb. That means this week you can craft a mutated orb, buy a mutated orb, and also get one from the dungeon. This gives you three per person. Um, when you have a five stack, if you want to have a go at the getting to the level 10 mutated dungeon. It gives you a really good shot at it. Um, you can pull all of those mutated orbs together and try and hit that level 10 this first week. So it's really, really exciting. Um, I will be making mutated dungeon videos trying to get to that level 10. So keep an eye out for that as well. Another thing to note is changes to buying and trading items. So the now the average expertise and your average gear score affects when you buy items. So my, for example, my ring that I currently have is 593. I bought it before the patch that is still going to stay at 593. Everything that you bought before the patch will stay at that gear score until you trade it. So my average expertise is not looking super crash hot at the moment at 532. My ring 530, as you can see, I bought this ring off the market earlier. It is now only 538 gear score, so it is scaled. So do please keep like please keep in mind when you are buying more gear that you will not get that gear score bump unless your average expertise is up there too. Gypsum. So gypsum has had an update as well. You can actually craft as many gypsum orbs as you want a day. So before you only be able to, you are only able to craft 
one of each type per day. Now you can craft as many as you want depending on the gypsum you have collected. There is still the daily cooldown on the castings, but you do need to work on all of the castings to get your average expertise up. So the fact that we can potentially buy one of each cast a day if you were to grind that hard, uh, that's just a really cool change. And it's really exciting to be able to craft as many as we want now and get that expertise up faster. The last thing that I did want to mention is there is a crafting bug at the moment that that has popped up with this bug and a storage shed um, issue. There are some storage sheds that are saying they're full when they're not, just ignore that. Um, there is the crafting bug where you do need to take, you will have the items to craft in your storage, but it's not pulling them from your storage at the moment. So you do need to take them out of your storage and put them in your inventory to do the crafting. Otherwise, it just won't craft. But yeah, that's um, pretty much the only bug that I've seen that's popped up that's annoying. Other than that, um, the mutations look really exciting. I'm really keen to get into the expeditions and I can't wait to make videos on that as well. So um, if you guys do want some more detailed patch note videos, let me know. I'm happy to go through all of the patch notes, um, show how everything's been changed. And yeah. I'm excited to show you the expeditions and hopefully get into the level 10 mutations. Um, please like and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.